Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Mercedes Michelle and today's video is going to be a diaper cake DIY video that I am making for a co-worker. So I just wanted to come and film it for you guys. So right into this video, I'm not going to do too much talking. The things you will need, a base for your um, diaper cake to sit on and I got this little plastic um, plate at Dollar Tree. You will also need like a paper towel holder or you know like something to um stand in the middle of your diaper cake or whatever so something like a paper towel holder works fine you will also need a lot of rubber bands a lot a lot of rubber bands and of course the main thing you will need is your diapers and i just got a size 2 92 diapers and i'm going to use all of them and of course just your accessories that you want to decorate the diaper cake with once you finish so yeah let's get right into the video and i am just rolling 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 down the fever and i'm rolling with the um character side facing inward so you won't be able to see the um sesame street characters just because it's not the theme of the actual diaper cake and i try to keep the rubber bands in the middle because once you do your ribbon around your entire um diaper cake you want to make sure that you cover those rubber bands the rubber band and I like these little black ones just because I only have to do it one time opposed to the larger rubber bands that I have. And that's it. And what you're going to do, you're going to roll up two diapers the exact same. Take your base and insert the diapers. These might be a little too big. So I'm going to have to roll them a little tighter because it's too big. But you get the point. It's going to... um make this more sturdier than what it already so i actually rolled up three diapers so this is one then it's one in the middle two in the middle and then three on the outside so this is really sturdy and just if you want to you can write diapers inside just so the mother to be and the father to be will know that it's actual diapers on this i did leave a little out so that they can tell so it's pretty much up to you so my structure of holding this entire thing together is finished and now i'm just going to roll the rest of the diapers up and once i finish rolling the diapers up i will form my first face School, now we done rich. This sound like some 4301 shit. All my niggas wanna do is pop style. Turn my birthday into a lifestyle. Tell my mama love her if I do not make it. Got so many chain, they call me chain and tail. And I like to finish what you think you saw. I'm gonna do the rest off camera, and when I come back, we're gonna form the diaper cake. Now that we have all of these rolled up, it's time to form the actual diaper cake. And I'm going to show you guys the first layer of forming the diaper cake, which is the biggest layer. I'm not going to have a special number or anything like that. It's just I'm working with 89 diapers. Whatever I believe looks good, that's how many I'm going to base it on. And maybe I'll count it after I form the first layer, just so you guys can have an idea of how I do my layers. But it's really based on personal preference and how you want your diaper cake to look and how big or small you want it. So, yeah, keep on watching. Okay, so this is the base that we're starting with. And here is my middle piece that's going to kind of like keep all the later layers sturdy and together. And I'm just going to form my bottom layer the size of this plate. I'm probably going to leave like a little, a few spaces, but that's it. So I don't need this right now until I have like a formed section and you see this part of the diaper you want that to go inward you don't want this to be facing out so that 
it can be seen. So you want it to go inward. And I'm just gonna place diapers all around. It's easier if you do do this on an actual table, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to do my best. And you will see how they um, hold together. You're gonna take a huge rubber band to um, hold these together once you get a good amount on. So I'm just turning this side inward just so you can have like a really clean take this rubber band which is a huge rubber band and it stretches a lot I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it around all of these and now I'm gonna start filling in this rubber band with the diapers all my niggas want to do is pop style turn my birthday into a lifestyle And now I'm going to insert my base for you guys so you can see. I'm going to try to put it as much in the middle as possible. So I'm going to place this in the middle. And you can, of course, straighten that. Straight out to your liking, and you can fill in some more. But for now, this is how I'm gonna leave this base, and then that's how you make your first layer. So I'm gonna come back with the um, second and second layer, and then I'll show you guys the top layer on camera. Okay guys, so I'm pretty much finished with the second layer. I'm probably going to go back in and add some to the bottom layer because the second layer is pretty big. But we will see after I do this top layer. And I did the second layer exactly how I did the bottom layer and how I'm going to do this top layer. I started off and then add a rubber band to hold all of them in place. I'm gonna put rubber band. This is the base of the diaper cake, and now it's just ready to be decorated, you guys.
Okay, so I'm just placing a ribbon around the rose beds just to make sure that they got covered. You can use a thicker rose, I mean ribbon than this ribbon, but I'm just this is just what I have right now, so that's what I'm using. And I might go in with another color ribbon. It's just up to you. So yeah, I'm showing you guys how to wrap the back. I'm just hot gluing it, trying not to touch the diapers because you don't want to get hot glue on the diapers. And I'm gonna glue this piece down. But I'm just trying to show you guys an example of what I'm doing. 